What up, family? Now, if you didn't know what's been going down in the Lone Star State, fam, and what I mean by that is it's been in between rappers. A lot of them, you know, cats up there is going to jail. A lot of the legends that was in the game is coming back out. We're seeing deaths. Everything has been transpiring since Mo3 situations seem like, fam, that everybody pretty much have came against each other pretty much. How Mo3 and his people was when it came to Yellow Bees and Trap Boy Freddy. Now it seemed like that energy have spread it over with other people and especially with Charleston White being in the game, fam. Now we all know that Charleston White was on a live, fam, here like a couple weeks ago. On this live, Charleston White detailing that Yellow Beezy, Trap Boy Freddy, and he pretty much was on Trap Boy Pop for real, saying Trap Boy is still selling drugs, pills. You know, he, he's saying uh, pretty much Trap Boy was still in the game and he was going to send the police, the feds, over there to, you know, trap. So, Everybody in the community at the time was just getting in a laugh. You know, hey, that's Charleston White. You know, he say stuff like that all the time. Now, mind you, this is not the only situation I have seen Charleston White say something about and then some come about it. And I got to remind you that he's saying he's totally against rappers. He came to destroy the rap community and it's looking like Charleston White is destroying the rap community, fam. Now, we know he was on this live saying that Trap Boy Freddy was still dealing drugs and he was going to get him to send the feds at him. Sure enough, the feds run in on Yellow Beezy in Trap Boy Freddy's studio. There was one dude there when they ran in, but they found guns and little minor drugs in the studio, right? Now, whoever at that studio at that time be the one that get charged with it. It's just like you driving somebody's car, right? And just say they done left drugs in there. You jump in there. You you might, hey, man, that's, you know, but they going to say it's yours because it's in your possession, like, right? So that's this situation. A lot of people was like, man, Charleston White really called the feds on Trap Boy Freddy. And then a lot of people were saying also that is it a coincidence, you know, that that happened? Or did he really call them folks on Trap Boy Freddy? Now, when it comes to rappers destroying the community, you know, I, I agree with a lot of stuff that Charleston White, you know, talk about. But at the same time, when it comes to if this allegedly Charleston White sunk the feds over there to that man studio, him and Yellow B. For no particular reason at all, just off, because I never heard Yellow Beezy, well, I just heard Yellow Beezy go on the interview, he didn't say nothing bad about Charleston White. Trap Boy Freddy, I never heard him say nothing bad about Charleston White. Just the fact of the matter that Charleston White got a thing out for rappers, fam, but when it comes to taking a man away from his kids, you know, I, I, I don't feel that situation right there when it comes to Charleston White and just moving like that with no reason at all, just because. I understand the rap game and what's behind it. I understand where he's going with it, but this can get very, very dangerous, fam. I feel for Charleston White. But if you listen to Charleston White, he's always saying that he doing what he's doing with a passion and he's willing to die behind. So I always say at the same time, if you got a man that's crip, blood, or just being a man or just a soldier and he's willing to, you know, die behind it, you kind of got to respect what's going on, but I will keep y'all updated on that boy Charleston White. But make sure you hit that like button, fam, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.